Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the final project walkthrough for uh, Watch 3020 Introduction to JavaScript Programming for the Web. So, uh, the final project in this course is to create some sort of JavaScript enhanced content page. And so, as you can see here, this is the uh, project assignments page from the week zero module. Hopefully you read through this already. Um, you can see that there are four assignments that constitute the final project. The first one is the proposal, then we have the project preview, then the project complete, and then the project sharing. So all of these will come together uh, to form the complete final project. So we're gonna go through each one of these and talk a little bit about them and help you think about how to plan out and get an idea for your final project. So the goal is to create a JavaScript enhanced content page, but realize that you're not really trying necessarily to make some kind of massive thing. What is going to serve you the best in your portfolio is probably to focus on some very specific piece of functionality and give that feature to the page. So we have these sort of fairly simple basic requirements, standard compliant JavaScript. You gotta use both arrays and objects. Uh, you need to use at least two conditional statements. You need to make use of functions or classes or both. Um, you need at least two event listeners, at least two string modifications, and you need to demonstrate that you can do proper DOM traversal and manipulation. Those are the basic goals of this entire course. So you're trying to show off that you've learned everything throughout this course and you're doing it on your own. So you might be making a module that allows you to create tabbed content on a page, a module that allows you to uh, have an audio player, um, all kinds of things like that. Um, as you are thinking about this final project, the, the very first thing that you need to do is actually propose the final project. And so as you're thinking, you know, consider for example, um, here's YouTube and here's a tabbed interface at YouTube, on, on the YouTube content pages. So these don't necessarily need to be the main feature of the page even, and um, you might look at different sites and pages that do interesting things sort of all along. Here is just the all clad cookware website, and as you can see here, they have, um, they have several different things going on. They have a little gallery going on um, where you can flop the uh, images back and forth. They also have a little tabbed content or a little uh, scroll auto scroll down section um, that shows up. And then they also have uh, frequently asked questions uh, that fold out in accordions. Um, and so any one of these features would be big enough and, and good enough to do as your final project feature. It, it doesn't have to, again, you know, showing that you can create a small thing in a really good, elegant, you know, tight way is, um, is much better than doing something big and crazy. Here, here's another idea. Um, this is using the card concept, um, mat Google material design. Um, has a lot of sort of specifications for how cards can work and here's one person's take on what that mean um, on what that means you can see that you can click to interact and see additional information and there's this really cool little animation that happens and everything um, obviously this is definitely JavaScript enhanced and um, and in fact you can uh, you know check it out here on on code pin if you look it up um, there's also if you look here at uh, SoundCloud, for example, you have the SoundCloud players. SoundCloud puts a, a player bar across the bottom. Um, you know, it's it's a good, uh, interesting challenge to build your own player. Uh, you can build your own player completely in JavaScript. You can uh, play audio files in, in a custom um, player with custom graphics and functionality. Um, but there's a lot of things going on on this page too. You know, it's not just the, the actual player, right? Um, there's um, these favorite buttons and things and the share buttons and things. Um, things that open modal windows or things that open sidebar menus or all kinds of stuff like that. Um, those are all things that would be suitable for this project and there's many, many more. Um, I'm not trying to restrict your ideas here. I'm trying to get you to think about how you can come up with something that is a small, thing that you can focus on and do in a really complete way in order to add to your portfolio and demonstrate that you can think through a coding problem and come up with a good elegant coding solution. So um, uh, in order to do the proposal, you're going to need to put together several different forms of planning documents. You're going to need to answer the basic questions that it takes to answer to, uh, to be able to actually complete a project. Um, then you're also uh, going to need to do um, a little preview, so post it while it's in progress. 
And um, then, of course, we're going to share. Uh, so be sure that you... Um, post up and share when it's when it's complete. Um, the completed final project is going to be graded according to this rubric. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you read through the rubric and check out all of the details on the rubric so that you know that you're going to get a good grade on this project. Um, and then uh, the proposal has its own rubric. So make sure you read through that one as well and, um, and tick off all of these things so that you get a good grade there. And then the preview itself also has its own rubric. It's a small rubric, just basically um, getting out there uh, and making sure that your project is actually deployed. So um, that is everything that, uh, that is involved with the final project for Watch 3020. Please um, do your best, and uh, I look forward to seeing the ideas that you come up with. Feel free to reach out if you need anything or have any questions or conversations that you want to have about your ideas, and I will look forward to seeing your content pages when they are done. Um, good luck, everybody. Take care. Uh, happy coding. Bye-bye.